Yes, we begin with President Biden's new COVID-19 vaccine requirement that could affect nearly 100 million Americans. The requirement is for all federal workers and large companies to mandate vaccines or weekly testing for employees. But is this legal? Arkatia Stepovic spoke with one of Idaho's top legal experts to find out. On Thursday, Idaho Governor Brad Little said the state of Idaho is now exploring legal action to stop President Biden's, quote, unprecedented government overreach. Well, I think you'll find that uh, 35 of the attorney generals of the United States joined by their governors will probably leap into this constitutional fray and attempt to sue directly in the United States Supreme Court on behalf of their respective states. Former Idaho Attorney General Dave Leroy says, yes, Governor Little has the ability to sue the federal government, whether it joins a lawsuit or files its own. Oh, there are arguments on both sides. It's uh, uh, a great uncharted legal territory that will have to be worked out. And if the states sue the federal government, uh, I would imagine those cases will get a swift hearing. Which begs the question, what are those arguments? And can the president legally require all businesses with 100 or more employees to get vaccinated? The power to regulate our local businesses, the power to create a healthy or unhealthy situations for our local citizens uh, ought to arguably be reserved to all 50 of the states and not given to the federal government unless there's a specific constitutional authority to do so. Leroy adds the president's action is an attempt to use the Occupational Safety and Health Administration or OSHA to enforce a brand new health and safety rule inside businesses. His administration argues that the federal government has the authority under the Commerce Clause of the Constitution to regulate interstate businesses. These legal theories that the Biden mandate is advancing are untested. Uh, both new and uh, never before actually had in precedent, either under uh, health safety laws uh, or cases, or particularly under the OSHA laws, which are more focused at hard hat safety and health safety. But what about Biden's requirement for federal employees to get the vaccine? Other experts say that holds up due to rights granted by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission and the Department of Justice have both said that it's lawful um, to do it. Um, and there are federal courts that have upheld other workforce mandates. It's the same way that private businesses are able to require the vaccine for employees, like we're seeing at local hospitals and most recently Micron. And now back to the vaccine mandate for private businesses. This is new territory for the federal government. And we clipped this from the CDC's website today saying that federal government does not mandate the vaccine. Case closed, right? Well, not quite. With Biden looping in OSHA, Leroy says it creates a gray area for whether the vaccine falls under federal workforce regulations. Meantime, Gostin says that's exactly why the federal government is OK to require vaccine for private businesses. And since there's no consensus, Kim, this case is likely on its track for the courtroom. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet my life on it there, Katya. All right, thank you so much.